Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma reviewing here the market. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the SPY is gapping down today, and I think everything is actually. Let's just double check. Oops. Yeah. So the SPY is down, though, more than the QQQs or the diamonds. I don't like the action for Friday. I don't like the gap this morning. I don't like any of this at all. And on top of that, uh, the banks did not trade well on Friday. And now the bank earnings that are out this morning, which is BAC, this is a nothing gap here, and SCHW, uh, really, there's no way I'd go long any of these here. So um, I, I think that the market is going to have a problem with the week unless, for some reason, Netflix um, has a great report Tuesday night and then lifts the entire market on Wednesday with tech. So if Netflix reports well and lifts tech, that'll lift the market. The question is, is that going to happen? At this point, I don't even know because honestly, I don't even know if Netflix alone, really, if Netflix gaps up and rallies, it could lift tech. Would that lift the whole market around from this sell-off? Maybe. I would have felt a lot better about the banks doing it. This, 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 this could lift the whole market, though, I guess, if, if it moves. Just because it would lift the whole tech sector. But that's two days away anyways. We could see more selling today. So my take on this is that the rally on uh, Friday, which was just a gap up that fell, was very, very weak. Um, even though everyone said we were up, I looked at that as incredible weakness on Friday. So I didn't feel good about that. I wasn't surprised at all we gapped down. We were down more this morning and last night in the futures, that's true, but we're still down and I don't see how we hold here today. There would have to be an extreme amount of buying that would come in on the live day today to hold this market and what's gonna create that to happen. No institutional buying here today. That's what I see. Be very, very careful and trade selective things this week. So if you need the market for your moves, you're not going to get it. Um, big selling last week. Huge, massive selling last week. I called it when I saw the gap down, which was on the 10th. Just rewinding back here. And we really just fell off a planet. We did not recover on Friday. For the people that thought that we did, they were wrong. So proof of that is the fact we're gapping down this morning and we could sell off even more. So be very careful. Um, even if you need the market for to the downside, I mean, just looking here this morning and scanning, I don't see much of any interest here this morning to short on its own selectively. You know, So I think this is going to be one of those weeks where do your own thing. It has nothing to do with the market, and you'll be fine. Market could break. Market could break and could fall lower. Where does it fall? I don't know. There's a million supports in the market. We're not going to break the uptrend, so that's the good news. Good news is we're not going to break the uptrend. Bad news is we could see more selling. And there you have it. Have a great day, everyone.